This is Sahara Lauer reporting for Aggie TV, and I'm here at the Memorial Union where a special picnic day forum is taking place to discuss this year's increased safety on picnic day. Realistically, we know that we're not going to stop the partying, we're not going to stop the drinking, but if we can educate those who are going to partake in those types of events and, and educate them to be safe and to be responsible, designated drivers, water, food, um, I think that really goes to the foundation of what we're trying to do is, is to change the culture of what has become Picnic Day to what it was five, ten years ago. So I'm here with Charlie Collado and he's the chair of Picnic Day. So Charlie, could you please tell us how the Picnic Day board is increasing safety this year? Uh, well, we are the event planners for the uh, event on campus, so we kind of just work with the police, we work with uh, other government entities just to kind of make sure that we get the information and put the message out to students about what's going to happen. So like we know that we're going to have an augmented police force um, on campus um, throughout the city. Um, the, the police forces will actually be collaborating with each other. UC Davis will be partnered with Davis police officers. We'll be working in the city with them. They'll be working on campus with us. Uh, we'll have officers here from UC San Francisco, UC Berkeley. We'll have quite a few more officers on bicycles. We'll have officers in plain clothes. Uh, well, pretty much you should look anywhere. You should see a police officer. Uh, one of our other big pushes is zero tolerance with alcohol. And what kind of fines will students be receiving or just any general members of the public be receiving if they are out of line? Well, on campus, it's, it's the uh, average fine. I think it's around $80. Uh, I'm not sure. But possession of an uh, open container on campus is a misdemeanor. So it's a pretty, it can be a, a pretty hefty fine, and if it's in the safety zone in the city, it's doubled, plus court costs, so it's pretty expensive. You know, there's a difference between throwing up on the bus and having been drinking and riding the bus. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be addressing people that are able to care for themselves. So if you've been drinking, you want to use the bus, use the bus. We want you to be safe. Mm -hmm. We'll have officers on the bus. What we're really looking to address are those individuals that can't care for themselves, that are throwing up on the bus, that are harassing the driver, or being aggressive towards uh, other riders. What do you feel will be the future of Picnic Day if things don't go the way you guys hope? Well, it's going to go away. It's uh, Quite frankly, it's, uh, it's a make it or break it year. Um, so it either improves or, or it goes away. So it's, help me out, guys. <laughs> the UC Davis Police Department sincerely uh, enjoys Picnic Day and encourages Picnic Day, and we want it to be safe. We want it to continue. As I said earlier, my family comes to Picnic Day and enjoys Picnic Day. So, Well, again, I enjoy Picnic Day every year, and I think the main goal is to prevent problems from occurring. It's much easier to be able to deal with it beforehand, and hopefully everybody will have a good time rather than reacting to it afterwards. With increased safety, higher fines, and more police patrol at this year's Picnic Day, Picnic Day will hopefully become a family-friendly event once again. For more information on how to party safe and on the rules and regulations at this year's Picnic Day, visit the links to the side. This has been Sahar Rindawa reporting to you for Aggie TV.